When we first received our Ursa Mini Pro G2, something that immediately jumped out at me on the record menu were the words 3K anamorphic. I'd never used anamorphic lenses, but was hopeful a project would come up that would suit the aesthetic. Finally, that project emerged in the form of a commercial shoot for Fiber Active. I thought it would be helpful to detail our experiences using these lenses for the first time on the G2, including the setup, mounting, recording and lighting, to help out those who were thinking of doing the same. When Dean and I were discussing how we wanted this video to look, we wanted to try something different. The awesome guys at Location Equipment have a set of PNS Technic Evolution 2x Koa Anamorphic PL mount lenses. We rented a set of three, the 40, 75 and 135mm. On top of the lenses we rented an RE matte box and a Schneider diopter set. This all fitted onto our Zacuto shoulder rig. Something I'd recommend is ensuring you have long rails as you're going to need them when mounting the 135mm lens to the camera. We're going to be shooting handheld and on sticks for this video. The rig wasn't too heavy when fully kitted up, probably around the 7 to 8 kilo mark, so when we were shooting wild for a couple of takes, the camera didn't destroy our arms. The other thing we had to keep in mind was that these lenses are shooting twice the amount of horizontal information than with a spherical lens, so effectively the 135mm became a 70mm. I generally close the iris a half to a full stop below being wide open. The first problem we ran into was that the lenses weren't focusing properly. Luckily we did a test shoot the night before the actual shoot, so this gave me time to determine the correct configuration. We have a raw light filter in front of the sensor, so the shims needed to account for this. They were the 0 0.1, 0 0.45 and 0.5mm shims, as well as the plastic shim that comes with the G2. I tested the focus with and without the plastic shim and couldn't discern any noticeable difference. On the shoot, our first AC Andy was pulling focus off the camera using the Nucleus M follow focus system. The lenses were very quick to calibrate and worked really well with this setup. When setting the camera to shoot with the anamorphic lenses, I selected 3K anamorphic on the first record menu. This has a resolution of 3072 by 2560 that de-squeezes to a resolution in post of 6144 by 2650, close to a 2.39 to 1 aspect ratio. Initially the monitors weren't displaying the image stretched, so the next setting we had to change was in the monitor menu. From the first page you click all and then scroll across to the second screen. There is a 2 times anamorphic de-squeeze option that you need to enable. This applied across the camera monitors, EVF and a 10-bit monitor receiving a wireless signal from a Bolt 500. The lighting for the video needed to look edgy. A lot of example videos I watched made use of LED light tubes. I wanted to steer away from this and utilise large light sources that really showed off those anamorphic flares. We needed to move fairly quickly between setups, so I decided to use a large ultra bounce getting blasted with light that could be dialed down from an Aperture Lightstorm 300D Mark II and a 120D Mark II as a key. For the backlight, I wanted the light source to be present in the frame. I went with the Doppio cream source, high up on a light stand, angled down as it would illuminate the edges of the talent and emphasise the flares. It was a good plan, I thought, until we noticed the honeycomb pattern from the cream source appearing in the flares. Didn't matter which filters I tried on the light, they would consistently appear. The rectangle light also didn't look great when we filled the location with haze. As a workaround, we swapped the 300D in as the backlight and used the cream source bounce from the Ultra Bounce on the Talon. Although not as powerful, the 300D still achieved what I wanted from the backlight. The flare from the 300D still created a circular flare in some of the shots, but wasn't as distracting as the honeycomb from the cream source. I also liked the backlight being circular through the haze. This shoot was definitely one of the most enjoyable shoots I've done. Using the anamorphic lenses was great easy once we were set up properly and the camera held up really well. There is certainly a time and a place for using these lenses, but it was fun accentuating that anamorphic look. If you can get your hands on a set of anamorphic lenses, I highly recommend trying them on a G2.